12 yard line. Charles Johnson pitches to the enemy. Across the 20 to the 23. Let's go down to the sidelines and Mark Mackin. Maybe they should rip up the turf, Dave, the way everybody's been slipping on it. Johnson to throw. Oh, Pritchard falls down. Pritchard had found the seam in the defense, and if he kept his feet, he probably would have been there to take in the pass. Nice. But he slips. He's going to be wide open. He ran a corner route. Instead, it'll be second and 10 for CU. From their own 23. Johnson going deep. There's nobody there. Well, Rico Smith got knocked ahead. They have been getting him time this afternoon. Third and 10 from their own 23. The play action. Over the middle. Complete to Rico Smith for the first down. That's At about I mean. the 44-yard line. I tell you, that's a tough throw. He, he threw that. One minute, 52 seconds left in this game. Missouri leads it 31-27. Got the some room. to the enemy. Across midfield, he slips. How frustrating is this if you're a CU buff? Well, I'll tell you, that's two big plays, Mr. Rock. Zoo up 31-27. You see, right, right now you got to pick up the first down. It's second and three, but got to make sure you get that first down. Johnson will throw. Good rush. Johnson escapes it. Room on the sideline. He picks up another first down and runs out of bounds close to the 30 for the Buffs at the Missouri 30-yard line. Johnson will throw. Pritchard. Open up the middle. Pritchard can't hold on to it. He was wide open, hitting the numbers, couldn't hold on. Place for a screen or draw because you've got Missouri really coming hard in the pass rush. Some sort of running play. Second and 10 from the 30. There's the draw. The enemy has room. Run out at the 16. Got enough time. You've got one time out. You're not forced into passing every down. First and 10 from the Missouri 15. The Buffs are down by four points. Johnson looking to throw again. Pressure again. Dumps it off to the enemy. Tries to cut back inside. I feel like Colorado throws the football in second and four. Remember, a field goal will not help the Buffs. They're down by four. The Missouri fans on their feet trying to drown out the offensive call by Charles Johnson, the CU quarterback. Second and four. Fakes the pitch. The toss to number 81, John Bowman. He picks up the first down. He would have had a touchdown if he kept on his feet. Instead, the ball is placed at the Missouri three-and-a-half-yard line. Now you've got to compose yourself. You've got first and goal. You've got 31 seconds, and you've got one timeout left. So there's no, no need to rush things here. Make sure you got guys lined up and not jumping. They're in a one-back offense. Charles Johnson slams the ball to the ground to stop the clock so he can walk to the sideline and talk strategy with the coaching staff. I don't think he's got time to do that unless they call a timeout. But what, what a call on second and four. They've utilized this once before, the fake toss. They come back, the tight end blocks, and then he releases, and he's wide open. Bowman, if he keeps his footing right there, scores easily. The game pretty much is over, and Colorado has just had a devil of a time trying to stand up today. Missouri slips some, too. This turf is an embarrassment. In fact, if we were voting on a most valuable player award, I would give it to that stuff. <laughs> For the first time ever. Second down, excuse me, first down, goal to go for the Buffs. 28 seconds left. The enemy trying to punch it in, stopped at the one. Got to get your timeout. Buffs Gotta have one timeout time left. Coach Logan calling for it. But I let six seconds, I mean, I, not to be critical, but six seconds, that's about a third of the time left on the clock now with 18. So you're in a situation now with 18 seconds to go. If you get stopped short here, you're going to have a tough time getting everybody lined back up to run another down. And I think the I think the chains are wrong in the field. I think now it's second down. They had second before. I believe it's second and goal now. I was a little confused by that also. I oh, thought uh, that, that, that they threw the pass down to stop the clock. That's right. You're right. So now they're third down. That won't matter. You won't uh, you won't have enough time to run three plays. You've got you've got time for two plays here. 
And I'm sure that's what Bill McCartney and offensive staff telling these guys now, hey, if we don't score on this play, we've got no timeouts, fellas, so you've got to get up, you've got to get back on the line of scrimmage. Here's what the second play will be. If CU does score and then kicks off to Missouri, Missouri will have a long way to go against the wind and with very little time on the clock. But first things first, the Buffs have to get it into the end zone. Yeah, I would say Colorado probably likes their chances very much if they score here. Not much time left for anything. Strategy session on the sideline, a meeting of the minds. This has been a drive with a second team quarterback, and I'm not sure in a, in a situation like this where how many second team quarterbacks could actually take their team down the field. And, and it wasn't like he was pitching the ball all the time. He made big plays on this drive. He did a good job last week when Hagan came out with the sprained shoulder, marching him downfield against Washington late in the game. Second down, one yard. The enemy stacked up. I don't think he's in. Got to hurry. The clock at 10 seconds right now. Got to hurry. The Buffs have no timeouts left. They stopped the clock to unpile everybody. Eight seconds to go. You might want to throw it in the ground here. Six, five, four. That's what Johnson does. Stops the clock with two seconds left. It will be fourth down, one yard to go for the Buffs to score the winning touchdown. What a way to end this one. This is it. You either win it or you don't right here on this play. Well, the enemy tries to go up and over here, and he is met at the pinnacle of his jump. Right at the top, he's met by a couple of Missouri players. Tough to see as to the number but here's the game right here three running backs behind Johnson Johnson himself is he in yes the oh Bucks my goodness the ball game. look out they're all over the field the fans are streaming onto the field as if Missouri won oh my goodness and yet on the other sideline <laughs> the CU buff team is running onto the field as if they won the guys, call, there, there were guys trying to tear the goalpost down that now have to stop. Well, they're still trying to tear the goalpost down. Holy mackerel. Can we see it? If we can see it again, if he gets in by just a couple of inches, a gutty call by CJ. The option, he sees the seam. He ducks it up inside the right tackle. I'll tell you what, this is for the highlight reel. The goalposts are going down, but I'm not sure they realize Missouri lost the game. CU wins the game, 33-31. I've never seen goalposts being torn down when the home team lost. Let's take another look at it. The option play to the right, Charles Johnson fakes to the fullback, makes the decision right there. The duck up inside, he has met at the goal line, but from there it looked like he clearly was in. Another angle, we'll take a look at it. CJ, not much of a fake to him anyway. It looked like the intention was for C.J. to run it in himself yeah, he, all along. He got the ball over, but not by much. I tell you, it's been a terrific game. Charles Johnson, the last play. Do you see the ball? You got everybody in white signaling touchdown and everybody in black waving their arms saying no. Well, to paraphrase,